My name is Mike Ermey. I'm from Oklahoma City, and uh, I actually am the lead pastor for the Oklahoma City Church, which actually meets in a community called Richland on the west side. I serve for Grace Communion because I have just a, a, a first of all, a long history, but uh, there since about 1966. But not just for the history, it's for the people. The, uh, the people uh, that I've known and developed friendships with, relationships with, working uh, side by side with for, uh, for many years. And it's just a, a natural to continue with them and uh, just see their, their hearts and see them develop in their own relationship with Jesus Christ. And fostering that is uh, just a, a huge a huge opportunity for me and a, and a great joy. I've been greatly encouraged in ministry by uh, actually quite a number of leaders and pastors over the years, uh, over many years, but uh, most recently and especially over the, the last 16 years or so since I've been in Oklahoma by Mike Rasmussen, who's now our uh, national director and superintendent for uh, North America. He's been just very encouraging and helpful, uh, uh, has helped me to really develop a leadership style, uh, which is one of uh, empowering other leaders, uh, bringing together others into, uh, into the ministry, bringing others together in whatever, wherever their gifts are, to see their gifts and have, uh, have the opportunity to let them flourish within uh, their gift set and uh, the various opportunities for, uh, for serving others that we have. I really experience God in other people. I mean, I, I experience it in, uh, in our church family. I experience it in the people I've worked with over the years uh, in, in, uh, in business. I experience it in my marriage and uh, in my family. Uh, you know, God is relationship, of course. And so as I relate to people, as I have opportunity to spend time with people, uh, I see God there. Uh, he, is, uh, he is present in all of us. He's present in even, even those who don't know that or understand that at this time. And uh, the, uh, the understanding of God that we've come to over, uh, over recent years has helped me to really see God in everyone and, and uh, the, the gifting, the way he's developed them and uh, with their own uh, diverse set of, uh, of ways in which they live and their interests and so on. And I, I look to see uh, uh, God as I look at other people. And that's, that's a pleasure to be able to see people that way as opposed to uh, you know the other ways that we might uh, judge or categorize or uh, pigeonhole people just to see them as children of God is a delight. And one of my guilty pleasures, one of the things I enjoy and I just can't hardly miss is uh, my daily wheel of fortune. Gotta do my puzzles each and every day. And my wife knows this, she may be in the midst of a movie or something, we're, we're gonna pause it, she knows it, at 6.30 p.m. each evening because I've gotta do those puzzles. Uh, maybe dinner time or whatever, but uh, you know we're gonna, we're gonna pause for that and take out uh, 20 or 30 minutes, do the puzzles, and then uh, that I'm fit and ready for the evening. It's very true. <laughs>